Have you ever been in a position that you needed to have a difficult conversation? Not with someone else, but with yourself. Having a difficult conversation. The conversation is difficult is because we want to see ourselves in a rosy place, in a rosy disposition. We want to see ourselves as everything is fine and dandy. And it may be in general, but there may be specifics in our lives that are not rosy, they're not dandy, they're not the way they should be. There might be a dullness of heart that we don't feel the connection, not the divine connection. And through that, we don't feel sometimes even the human connection as a result. Where's that coming from? Why is that happening? Of course, the reason for this is, is because we have an animal soul <coughs> that covers up on the divine soul and the light of that divine soul, the love of that divine soul that wants to be connected with its source. It wants to be one. It wants to be one with God. It wants to be connected with others in a real way so sometimes what we need to do is have a conversation with ourselves not just to meditate upon something you know about the haughtiness of my animal soul how self-exalted it is sometimes we have to actually the sages say rage in our minds, it doesn't have to be vocally, but there has to be a rage inside of us. Now, the world is familiar with rage today because there's a lot of rage going on. But the problem with that rage is it's directed to someone else or to a group of others. Rather than the rage should be directed to myself that look what I have done to myself with great indignation that way look at myself and not another that would be truly unique that I look at myself as I'm the low I'm the low one I'm disgraceful and speak to that part in me it's only that part in me the animal soul that is despicable, is an abom abominable. Because it wants to hide the truth. What's the truth? Well, God's the only reality. Before he created the world, it was only him. After he creates the world, it was only him. Even with my animal soul. That's the true reality. Nothing has changed. And the animal soul make, wants me to deny that reality, that truth. But the truth is in God's presence is nothing else but him. When we can rage, not at another, but to our, at ourselves, at that element of me, only that element of me, not that I am, you know, I, we have a divine soul. We're not raging at the divine soul. We're not raging at the holiness of who we are. The wholeness and the completeness of who we are. We're merely raging at an element of me. <coughs> the animal soul. That wants to conceal the truth. And sometimes, as our sages say in the Talmud, we need to arouse the good impulse, the holy impulse that we have in us, against the negative impulse, the evil impulse of the animal soul. 
and have a conversation with it by bringing it down. Actually, I shouldn't say it's really not a conversation because it's a one-way conversation. Don't do that to another. With another, you need a two-way conversation. With yourself, it's one way. It's one way because the animal soul, you don't want to give it any time of day that it's going to retort. What's it going to retort? Excuse me. It's going to justify itself. What do you mean? I had a bad day. I was in a lousy mood. Got a justification. No, there is no justification. That's true ownership of our lives. And to be able to do this, be careful. You need guidance. I'm going to talk more about this in TRC, Tiny Rabbi Community, which, by the way, tomorrow, 4.30. Join us. But what a tool that this can be. And how au contraire this is to the world that we live in now. The world that we live in, there's so much rage. But that rage is directed at to those that we don't agree with. Who are disagreeable to in our minds. Tanya teaches us there's only one disagreeable in our lives. And that's our evil inclination. That's disagreeable. And with that, talk to it. Have a rage. Bring it down. Humble it. Don't let it control. Allowing, or not allowing rather, that I should perceive the truth. The truth is that there is only a reality of God. And I'm in God's presence. I'm united with Him. I'm one with Him. And even though I understand this only with my mind, but I, my soul actually sees that truth. And the animal soul is hiding that truth, that the divine part in me is truly aware of, sees it, and lives that. When we do this, this rage, so it's not just, and in, again, in our minds, it doesn't have to be verbalized. It allows us to humble that negativity from within. How empowering, how beautiful, how amazing this is. Be careful, though, as I said. Need guidance on how to do this properly. Any questions? I don't see. Any comments? Thank you, Clem. Yes, lamp lighters. It's a powerful stuff. We have to be careful, make sure that we are not abusing this idea or doing it in the in, incorrect manner. Because sometimes when you rage against your negativity, you may get despondent, which is something that we will discuss further because there will be a tendency of despondency as a result. But we will deal with that. Uh, Davida, what happens when we are too hard on ourselves where it's only against the evil inclination but our divine part of ourselves? Yeah, so that's all good. That, that itself is coming from the evil inclination. Sometimes the evil inclination works on us to make us feel guilty 
guilt doesn't help anything. This rage is not about guilt. It's a very important idea here. The rage is that there is a part in me, the animal soul, that doesn't allow the real me to emerge with its full light, with full life, with full love, full attachment and connection. So you want to rage against that in your mind to humble it, to allow the true self to emerge. So when you become too hard on yourself and you're even you know, not just speaking to your negative side, to your animal soul, but you're also talking to your godly soul? No, that means it's come from a wrong place. That's why we need some help with this. Thank you for sharing that, Davida. <laughs> Excuse me. I have a few sniffles. Be careful. Don't catch my sniffles. <laughs> I'll try not to sniffle or you know, into the screen. <laughs> Excuse me. So, Davida, how do we separate the guilt from our rage? So, I, I hope we explain that now. That if it's raging against the animal soul because of the nature of it and what it does to us, so then w what's guilt? There's no guilt engaged over here. Guilt is to make you feel bad. The rage over here is not to make us feel bad. It's to bring, to humble that side in me. That's its purpose. If it's making me feel guilty, that means I use this improperly. We'll have more on this again in TRC. Is there a method one should use for implementing this rage? Yeah, we're, we're going to talk more about this. But we've, we've started already. It's again, talking to yourself. How lowly this is, part this part in me. How it's concealing the truth. That those that's what you the conversation talk say those words to yourself. That that you know take an incident that you have where the truth was concealed from you, where where you animal soul is got the better of you, and talk to yourself. That's that you animal soul are hiding the truth from me. You're despicable. You're not going to do this to me. I'm not going to allow you to do this to me. You're loathsome. You're despicable. I want the truth. And the truth is, I'm in God's presence. The truth is, the divine soul is illuminated with that presence and that truth. That's what I want to live with. That's the point over here. That's an introspection. Absolutely. Jeff, can repeat the part about the only person we should be in a disagreement with? <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. So we live in a world where we rage against others that we disagree with, that are disagreeable to us. That's not the divine way. That's not the Jewish way. The only one that you have a rage with that's disagreeable is that element in you that's disagreeable. 
your animal soul when it gets out of control, not allowing you to perceive the truth that you are connected. You are a divine being that's connected and always in God's presence. With that, you need to be disagreeable with that part in us, the animal soul, that wants to hide that truth. So we rage against it. You're an abomination. You are, you know, disgraceful, loathsome. That part in me that is trying to take me away from the truth. Is it the intention of the rage what uh, differentiates it from the righteous rage and the wicked rage? Yeah, it, it's who we're talking to. What are we saying? If you, if you come and say, I'm a good for nothing, I'm worthless. That's not, you know, and you rage at your worthlessness. Although they're, you know, from the animal point of view, yes. But that's not the rage over here. And that we have to, you know. Can I think of answer to everybody's? David, David. How can we truly humble ourselves when in that situation? I don't know what you what do you mean by that, David. Jane. So Jane asks a very good question. And we deal with this a lot in TRC. How about positive talk? Talking like saying I'm good or I'm on the right track, I'm able. Is that helpful or is that deceiving? So we're going to get there. Excellent, excellent question, Jane. Um, right now, where we're at is in our, a moment in our lives, a time in our lives where we feel despondence, where the, the spontaneity and the love of the heart are not being expressed. Divine connection is dulled in the heart and we want to deal with that so positive is not the mechanism or the method right now we will come to that we will come to that shortly well uh, uh, next week sometime <clears throat> we will um, come to that right now we're dealing with that negativity from within to allow the true self, self-image to emerge and to become more a functional reality, shall we say. Okay. Very good, Jane. Well, we're going to get there. All right. Beautiful. Amazing. All of you. I'm Rabbi Ronnie Fine coming to you for Chabad Zerf and Kedeshim. Montreal, Canada. It's a privilege and a pleasure to share with you. Tanya Rambam is coming right now. Come and join us. JLI is tonight for those who have signed up. Join us for that. Tomorrow, TRC, Tanya Rabbi Community. If you're not part of the community yet, it's a good time to join. Go to tanyarabbi.com forward slash TRC. A good chaydish, everybody. An amazing, great day. Be well.